Education, Forest and Environment, Government of Meghalaya. Also, we have with us Sri Nuzor Ki Sungha, an honorable MLA. So we are really honored today and we would like to welcome you to the foundation laying of Dr. Don Cooper Roy block. This block is dedicated to Dr. Don Cooper Roy, who has been associated with the University of Science and Technology in Meghalaya, right from enactment of the USTM Act in the, in the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly. He has been guiding force of our mission. Ladies and gentlemen, I will take this opportunity to also let you know that our Honorable Education Minister is also a part of the United Democratic Party, of which Dr. Don Cooper Roy is also a part. Sir, uh, you'll be happy to know that recently our Honorable Chief Minister, uh, Sri Conrad Sangha, during his tenure as uh, MP, along with Sri James Sangha, had inaugurated uh, the lady foundation of our PS Sangma block, which is on the right side of your uh, thing. It has been, uh, uh, like, you know, building is coming up and we shall have it very soon. So we request you to kindly do the honors of laying the foundation. <laughs> The foundation laying of Dr. John Cooper Roy Block. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our Honorable Education Minister for doing the honors. I'm very thankful to the RDF Foundation for giving me this opportunity to be amongst the all the family member of USTM, especially for giving me this privilege to lay the foundation stone of Don Cooper Roy block for the benefit of the student as Madame has already spoken, said before me that uh, Dr. Don Cooper Roy who was, he was an educationist, a politician, an administrator, and it is uh, rightly, it is appropriate that uh, he should have this honor of having this block, uh, academic block here. But this will not happen without the ERDF Foundation, whom he has been associated since the inception of the university till then. With this uh, coming out of the academic block, I hope that uh, Sergeant Carroy, who is now our speaker in the Legislative Assembly, will be associated. I myself, I Uh, I tell you here that I myself also will work hand in hand with the foundation in promoting education in our area in the future also. Thank you very much. So regarding me, uh, I just want to tell the, uh, everyone in this uh, university especially the student to deliver their best because the uh, university will be of no use if the student are no, are no good. So that's why I wish the student the very best and our teacher also to, keep their, to deliver their best to the student so that we can prepare a better future for our state 
and especially today, the 7th of April 2018, 2018, I lack when removing on wheel this deck as the map of Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, sir, Shina, sir. Sir. It means a lot of joy here. It's a forensic tool logic. Forensic tool logic. Education as a top priority is government. The main thing or Mekhalia, the first thing to do is that we have the quantity of education as primary to secondary, we have plenty. But the quality is lacking behind. So first of all, we have to try to sort out where we'll start. It's been covered by, uh, with schools, within uh, three kilometer, one kilometer, but uh, that has not come to my knowledge. If it comes to my knowledge, I will see. Because uh, small children are going to buy food. Very it has come to my knowledge. Yes. If it comes to my knowledge, I will see that. So coming back to education, sir, earlier the uh, previous government, they were having the education scam and also. So uh, now again the Supreme Court has said that it should be reopened. I mean, you know, the case should be reopened, sir. So whatever the present government is doing on this matter? Uh, the Supreme Court has delivered its judgment yesterday. So I don't know what is the context of that judgment. So we have to sit together with the officers and all sort out what it is there in that judgment because I myself I have not seen the copy of that judgment. I see in the newspaper but uh, I didn't see the full judgment per se. Uh, Chief Minister also yesterday assured that each district should have a government college sir. So how you will work on this matter sir? Because You see it is the aim of the government that to have the edu education should reach in each and every corner of the state. So this is a long term plan. It is not, we cannot do it at one go. We have to try to do it. But uh, you know, as of uh, as of now, the government face a tremendous difficult in finding, uh, I mean, in managing its own resources. So we have to try. But that is the goal of the government. We have to try to do it. How to do it, how to go with it, that we will sort out in give course of time. Uh, just recently, you got 135 crores rupees from the central government, sir. So this is meant for the salary of SSA teachers and also another 85 is lacking, 85 cr uh, cr crore is lacking. So what is your future plan like? Are you going to approach the central government or are you going to generate uh, revenue by your own self? You see, the money is the right of the, of the teachers. It is not that we are giving them as a grant. They have worked for five months, six months, they, we could not pay them the salary. So we from the government will try each and every uh, employee should be paid on time. But as you know, as I said before, that uh, the government of Makhalia is not very rich in uh, uh, or uh, I mean resources, it's not that much. So we have to manage 